Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys, welcome all to my channel Web of Science. So today we're gonna study new chapter which is basics of electricity one. In this video I choose to start with calculating the equivalent resistance of a circuit. So let's start by the first case when we have resistors in series. As we see here, all the resistors all the resistors from R1 to Rn are in series with each other. So the question here is what is the equivalent resistance of this circuit? It means the total resist resistance. In series circuit, the equivalent resistance is simply the summation of all the resistors. So R equivalent equal R1 plus R2 plus R3 till Rn. We can simplify this circuit to this one and we can say that these two circuits are equivalent. So we take an example. If we have R1 equal 10 ohm and R2 equal 20 ohm and R3 equal 15 ohm. The question is find R equivalent. R equivalent here equal R1 plus R2 plus R3. Uh, then it's equal to 10 plus 20 plus 15. It becomes 45. So R equivalent here equal 45 ohm. Now we move to the second case. When we have resistors in parallel. We see that from uh, we see that R1, R2 till Rn are in parallel to each other. So the question here is what is the equivalent resistance of this circuit? So whenever you have two, three, four till n resistor in parallel, so we should always follow this rule: one over R equivalent equal one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 till one over Rn. This means that R equivalent equal R uh, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over Rn raised to negative 1. Uh, negative one. So we take an example. If we have R1 equal 5 ohm and R2 equal 10 ohm, find RQ, R equivalent. R equivalent here is simply equal to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 to the power of minus 1. It becomes 3.33 ohm. So R equivalent here equal to 3.33 ohm. Here is another example. So go ahead and calculate the equivalent resistance of this circuit. We notice that these five resistors are parallel to each other. So therefore, the equivalent resistance of these five resistors is R equivalent 1 equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 5 to the power of minus 1. It becomes 2.83 ohm. We're gonna redraw the circuit again. These two resistors are in series with each other. So we can add those values 2 and 2.83 ohm. We get R equivalent equal to 2 plus 2.83 equal 4.83 ohm. This, this circuit is the equivalent circuit of this one. Now we move to the last example. In this example, it seems difficult, but so easy to solve it. Just focus and analyze the circuit step by step. Uh, the, I note this node by A and this node by C and this node by B. So the first thing to do is to simplify this circuit. So I just open this node. So I get this uh, circuit, this node A and this node A. Node A. They are the same because if we, if we close this one, we get this one. Okay, guys. So then we should find R equivalent from the right to the left. It's not from the left to the right. We should we shouldn't find it from the right to the left. So R equivalent one, this one and this one are in series with each other. So R equivalent one equal four plus six, then equal 10 ohm. We replace this one by 10, then R equivalent one and two are in parallel are, are in parallel to each other. And then I get R equivalent two. R equivalent two equal one over two plus one over ten to the power of minus one. 
equal 1.66 ohm. Then R equivalent 3 is R equivalent 2 in series with 4. So R equivalent 3 equal 4 plus 1.66. We get 5.66 ohm. Then we move to R equivalent 4. R equivalent 4 is R equivalent 3 in parallel to 1. So R equivalent 4 is simply 1 over 1 plus 1 over 5.66 to the power of minus 1 we get 0.85 ohm. At the end we replace R equivalent 4 by its value then R equivalent of all the circuits equal to R equivalent 4 plus 2 plus 3 because they are in series. So R equivalent equal 2 plus 3 plus 0.85 we get 5.85 ohm. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. So see you next time.